Kia ora tato, a very warm welcome to our Easter celebration. It's wonderful to have you joining us um, at home on our webcast service. Thank you for the hundreds of people who've joined us in our last services, and it's a very um, wonderful occasion to be gathering to celebrate the risen Christ. My name is Nick, and I'm the vicar of this parish, and it's wonderful to have Rosemary, my wife, joining us, um, and also Ethan, who's playing the guitar and doing all the technical work. Uh, we hope that you saw the Good Friday service and that you took up the invitation to have a little cross at home, um, to put some flowers or some greenery in that cross to change the cross from a symbol of death to a symbol of new life. We'll do that a little bit later in the service. So welcome, it's wonderful to have you here and we hope you join in um, with the words of the songs and if you've got a prayer book a bit later on, um, we'll guide you into that. So welcome. things which is really special at this time of year is all the beautiful butterflies zooming around and in our garden at the vicarage we have lots of monarchs which are beautiful to watch and this story I'm going to tell you today is entitled Claudia the Caterpillar and it's one of the favorites of the children at the preschool Claudia the Caterpillar lived in the garden she spent her days crawling on the plants and eating the flowers. So there's the hero of our story, Claudia, and there's the nibble marks that she's made on the flower. One day, Claudia saw butterflies flying and gliding, winging and wheeling across the sky. Now that's the life for me, said Claudia. So there's Claudia and there's the beautiful butterflies. So Claudia climbed the big old tree. I wonder if you've got a big old tree in your garden. There's Claudia. You can see how big the tree is because Claudia is very small. She stood on the highest branch. There she is, tiny Claudia. Look at the beautiful flowers. It's the butterfly life for me, said Claudia. Now Claudia is not very bright and she's about to do something really stupid. Oh, 
I'm going to fly. There she is, she throws herself off the tree. Thud. She hits the ground. Let's see what Claudia does next. Next day, Claudia watched the butterflies flying and gliding, winging and wheeling across the sky. Yes, that's the life for me, she said. I would love to be flying and gliding, winging. Ah, winging. I need wings, she thought to herself. So there's her antennae, which is slightly broken, and she's got a sticking plaster on. So Claudia made some wings. She climbed up to the top of the big old tree. She stretched out her wings and yelled, It's the butterfly life for me. I'm going to fly. Thud. Claudia hits the ground. Next day, and you can see next day, Claudia's got two sticking plasters and her antennae are even more broken. Next day, Claudia watched butterflies flying and gliding, winging and wheeling across the sky. She decided to ask God about what she wanted. God, I want to fly like the butterflies, she said a prayer. So God led Claudia up the big old tree and under the highest branch. God attached her to the branch and began forming a chrysalis. Now a chrysalis is a bit like a sleeping bag around her shell. Hey, cried Claudia, I want to fly. If you close me up in here, I'll die. But God kept covering Claudia until she was completely closed up in her chrysalis. So Claudia's inside there. Claudia stayed in the chrysalis all day and all night, all the next day, one week, two weeks, three weeks wrapped up in the chrysalis. So there's the moon and there's the chrysalis. Then the chrysalis shook, rip, out popped Claudia, good old Claudia, wonderful new Claudia. She flexed and flapped and flew. Here's the broken chrysalis. This is the life, cried Claudia, as she went flying and gliding, winging and wheeling across the sky. She's got a little smile on. So today on Easter morning, we think about somebody else who was wrapped up in a chrysalis as well. And that was Jesus. Everyone thought Jesus had died, but he was in his tomb, his chrysalis, for three days. And then he emerged, a new person, a new creation, on Easter morning. Thank you so much for listening. And so we're now going to light the Paschal or the Easter candle. And as I do this, I'll say a prayer. So let us pray, loving God, on this Easter morning you passed over from death to life. We no longer fear death, we are risen with you. We proclaim this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And so we join in our Easter greeting. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He has risen indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He has risen indeed. Alleluia. Let us pray to be filled with hope. Alleluia, faithful God. On this day you raised Jesus from death and calmed our greatest fear. Help us to celebrate with joy that in greeting you, the risen Saviour, we might be filled with the hope of resurrected life. Through Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Amen. And I hope you've got your crosses at home and you've got some greenery or some flowers to put on them. 
Rosemary and I are now going to green the cross we have here, the one we used on Good Friday, and we're going to transform it from a symbol of death into a symbol of new life. If you have done the exercise at home of greening your cross, we'd love you to send photos to us um, so we can enjoy your resurrection cross too. Our first reading is from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 31, beginning at the first verse. At that time, says the Lord, I will be the God of all the families of Israel, and they shall be my people. Thus says the Lord, the people who survived this sword found grace in the wilderness. When Israel sought for a rest, the Lord appeared to him from far away. I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, I have continued my faithfulness to you. Again, I will build you up and you shall be built. O virgin Israel, Again you shall take your tambourines and go forth in the dance of merrymaking. Again you shall plant vineyards in the mountain of Samaria. The planters shall plant and shall enjoy the fruit. For there shall be a day when sentinels will call in the hills of Ephraim, Come, let us go to Zion, to the Lord our God. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Uh, 
and reading from Psalm 117. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Acclaim the Most High, all you peoples. For great is God's love for us, and the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 10, beginning at verse 34. Jesus spoke, I truly understand that God has shown no partiality, but to every nation, everyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. You know the message he sent to the people of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. That message spread throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John proclaimed. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. How he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by evil. For God was with him. We are witnesses to all that he did both in Jerusalem and in Judea. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. But God raised him up on the third day and allowed him to appear, not to all people, but to us who were chosen by God as witnesses. And we who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one ordained by God as judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him, that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. What hope we have, even in the longest night, for the light will overcome. We will not fear, for we know the sun will rise. Alleluia is our song. Peace we have, even in this wounded world, where the battle rages on. We will not fear, for we know who heals our souls. Alleluia is our song. Alleluia, alleluia. He is risen over all. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia is a song. Joy we have, for the stone is rolled away, and the tomb holds nothing now. Toasting of death, power over sin or grave. Alleluia is a song. Alleluia, alleluia, he is risen over all. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia is a Even in the longest night, for the light will overcome. And we shall live, sinner, we will rise to saints. Alleluia is our song. Alleluia, alleluia, he is. 
it's risen of our own. Alleluia, 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 is a song. Alleluia, alleluia, he is risen of our own. Alleluia. The Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 28, beginning at verse 1. Praise and glory to God. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven, approached, rolled back the stone, and sat upon it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing was white as snow. The guards were shaken with fear of him and became like dead men. Then the angel said to the woman in reply, Do not be afraid. I know that you are seeking Jesus the crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay, then go quickly and tell the disciples, He has been raised from the dead, and he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him. Behold, I have told you. Then they went away quickly from the tomb, fearful yet overjoyed. And they ran to announce to the disciples. And behold, Jesus met them on their way and greeted them. They approached embraced his feet, and did him homage. And Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ the Word. So let us pray. Faithful God, open the scriptures on this Easter morning to us in a fresh and exciting way. In the risen Christ's name we pray. Amen. Well, there's been lots of debate as we endure lockdown together about who is actually an essential worker. I must say I was deeply relieved when the Prime Minister came out and said that the Easter Bunny is in fact an essential worker. I love our family Easter bunny egg hunt. Quite how a bunny gives birth to eggs, I'm not really sure. I must have missed that class at school. I did hear of one vicar who was busy driving fast between all her rural services in her parish on Easter morning. She had on board a curate who was learning the ways of being a vicar. In her haste, she drove over a bunny and killed it. That's terrible, said the curate. That is one of God's creatures. Don't worry, said the vicar. Us vicars are always prepared for anything. She went around the back, opened the boot, and got out a tiny bottle of liquid. Proceeding to the dead bunny, she sprinkled the water on the bunny. As if by magic, the rabbit got up, hopped off, and as it did, it raised a paw at them, waving. That's amazing, said the curate. Was that holy water? No, said the vicar, it was hair restorer with a permanent wave. (laughs) Today the church proclaims not the restoring to life of a bunny, but of Jesus Christ. Matthew, our gospel writer for this year, has an account that is bursting with signs that something new is happening. It's the first day of the week, after the Sabbath. The Sabbath for the Jews was alert level four. They couldn't travel, they couldn't work, they didn't have Zoom so they couldn't work, 
they had to stay in their bubble. So Jesus' closest followers, two Marys, take the opportunity on Sunday to travel because alert level four has been lifted, imagine that. They come to the tomb as soon as they can early in the morning. It's dawn. What greets them soon has them on alert level 10, whatever that might be, an angel and an earthquake. And we know what earthquakes are like in Canterbury. Even the guards, hardened Roman soldiers, are gripped by fear. But the angels, as it turns out, are essential workers, for they minister to their fear. Do not be afraid, says the angel. On the road they meet Jesus, the risen Christ, and his message too, the first words from the risen Christ, who after all has been to hell and back, do not be afraid. Matthew puts so well in just three words the reaction of those two Marys. Fearful, yet overjoyed. Fearful, yet overjoyed. Have you ever been fearful, yet overjoyed? It's a heady mix of very raw emotion. This Easter, as we face COVID-19 together, we come fearful, yet overjoyed. Being fearful and then suddenly overjoyed are feelings that William Moore remembers well. Back in May 1984, after a childhood of poverty and petty crime, William, filled with self-loathing and depression and booze, broke into an elderly woman's home to steal her money. In the act of stealing her money, he shot her dead. For 16 years, William was on death row, awaiting his execution by lethal injection. But one day all his fear and depression and his self-hatred was about to change. Two people from the local church visited him. They had a simple message for William, Jesus loves you and he died for you. But what struck William wasn't the message so much as the love that they showed him. He recounted later, Nobody up to that point in my life had ever shown me love before. I felt loved. Loved was what I wanted. Love was what I needed. This simple encounter transformed his whole life. He became the peacemaker in the prison, reconciling different gangs, praying for the other inmates, even holding Bible studies for them. All the time, his death by lethal injection drew closer and closer. The day came that he was dreading. They shaved his leg, the leg they were going to put the injection into. Just as they were about to do it, the news came that the courts had changed their minds. Suddenly, from fear, he went to overwhelming joy. The courts had given him a stay of execution and then eventually freedom even from prison. Today you'll find William, he's content and he's running a church. But he will never forget the day he was shown love for the very first time. We come to this Easter like William and like those two Marys, fearful. COVID-19 has filled our world with fear. But we are also overjoyed because Easter tells us that nothing is greater than the love we find in God. Not even death. We discover there is only one essential worker in this or any other crisis. And that worker is love. It was God's love at work in Jesus Christ that brought him back from the dead. It was God's love at work in the lives of those first disciples that gives hope to the world. It was love at work in the hearts of those pastoral care visitors that gave William new life. And it is God's love at work in our life that gives us hope and joy and everlasting life. You see, along with the Easter Bunny, of course, the one essential in our world 
is God's love. Love is stronger than death. Love is greater than evil. In Jesus who loves us, we are more than conquerors. Like William, Easter love has reached out to us, brought us joy, and we need never be afraid again. If you have access to a prayer book at home, we're on page 410, and Rosary and I are going to lead you in saying the creed with us. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became fully human. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son who in unity with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified and has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. So let us pray for the church and for the world, giving thanks for God's goodness. In our time of thanksgiving, I will say, Risen Christ, and if you please respond, we thank you. Risen Christ, we, we thank, thank you. you. Alleluia, God of resurrection. We thank you that on this Easter day, Jesus rose from the dead. We thank you for his message that love conquers all. Risen Christ, we, we thank, thank you. you. Hallelujah, God of resurrection. We thank you that your cross, that was a symbol of cruelty and death, has become a symbol of life and hope. Risen Christ, we, we thank, thank you. you. Alleluia, God of resurrection. On this day, we thank you for the love Jesus showed us when his actions and words spoke of your love to all peoples in all times and all places. Risen Christ, we thank you. Alleluia, God of resurrection. On this Easter day, we ask that we may be filled with your love and hope that resurrection is ours too in every crisis, every sorrow or every grief. Risen Christ, we, we thank, thank you. you. Amen.
Faithful God, nothing can separate us from your love. As we face COVID-19 together, we ask for your grace. Grant protection and strength to our health workers. Stretch out your healing hands to all who are sick. Calm our fears and keep us patient with each other. All this we ask in confidence of him who loves us, Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. We share the peace together on page 419. The peace of the risen Christ be always with you. And also with you. Etiphan, we are the body of Christ. By one spirit we were baptised into one body. Keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. Amen. We are bound by the love of Christ. To you, Lord, belongs the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty. All that is in the heavens and the earth is yours, and of your own we give you. The Lord is here. God's Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to offer thanks and praise. It is right indeed. It is our joy and our salvation, Holy Lord. Almighty Father, everlasting God, at all times and in all places, to give you thanks and praise through Christ your only Son. You are the source of all life and goodness. Through your eternal word you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image, male and female you created us. When we sinned and turned away, you called us back to yourself and gave your Son to share our human nature. By his victory over death, the reign of sin has ended, a new age has dawned, a broken world is restored, and we are made whole once more. You raised him to life, triumphant over death, you exalted him in glory, and him you have made us a holy people by sending upon us your holy and life-giving Spirit. Therefore, with the faithful who rest in him, with angels and archangels, and all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. All glory and thanksgiving to you, Holy Father, on the night before he died, your Son, Jesus Christ, took bread. And when he had given you thanks, he broke it, gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this to remember me. After supper he took the cup, and when he had given you thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, to remember me. Glory, Glory to you, Lord Christ. Your death we show forth, your resurrection we proclaim, your coming we await. Amen. 
Come, Lord Jesus. Therefore, loving God, recalling your great goodness to us in Christ, his suffering and death, his resurrection and ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate our redemption with this bread of life and this cup of salvation. Accept our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, which we offer through Christ, our great High Priest. Send your Holy Spirit, that these gifts of bread and wine which we receive may be to us the body and blood of Christ, and that we, filled with the Spirit's grace and power, may be renewed for the service of your kingdom. United in Christ with all who stand before you, in earth and heaven, we worship you, O God, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing, honour and glory be yours, here and everywhere, now and forever. Amen. As Christ teaches us, we sing. to share in the body of Christ. We who are many are one body, for we all share the one bread. Draw near and receive the body and blood of our Saviour Jesus Christ. The remembrance that he died for you. Let us feed on him in our hearts, by faith, with thanksgiving.
So on this Easter morning, we give thanks to God. Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, you met us in your Son and brought us home. Dying and living, he declared your love, gave us grace and opened the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We whom the Spirit lights give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope you have set before us, so we and all your children shall be free, and the whole earth live to praise your name. Run to the tomb, come and see, come and see, he is alive. A grave that is empty, a promise fulfilled. God who was with us is here with us still. He is here, he is here, he is alive. Alleluia. Love is alive, conquer the grave and defeated the night. Alleluia, love is alive, the sun has arisen for all. Your people sing Alleluia. People of God, let your fear fall away. Your chains have been broken, abandon your shame. Lift your hearts, lift your hearts, he is alive. Hear now his mercy embracing your soul. Hear the fulfillment that once was foretold. It is true, it is true, he is alive. Alleluia, love is alive, conquered the grave and defeated the night. Alleluia, love is alive, the sun has arisen for all. You people sing Alleluia. Rejoicing in Christ, carry your joy in the darkness of light. Tell the world, tell the world, he is alive. Hear the good news of this glorious day. Every heart singing as heaven proclaims, he is Lord, he is Lord, he is alive. Alleluia, love is alive, conquered the grave and defeated the night. Alleluia, love is alive, the sun has arisen for all. Alleluia, love is alive, conquered the grave and defeated the night. Alleluia, love is alive. Your people sing Alleluia. Uh, just a couple of notices before I offer you God's blessing. Um, people are asking me for two things. One is our bank account number, would you believe, so that they can uh, give their money directly to the parish as the envelope system is no good at present. Um, and so we'll get Ethan to put that number on the screen. Uh, when you're using internet banking, please put your name as well so the parish recorder knows where the money is coming from. So thank you very much for that indeed. Um, and also people are asking where they can read my sermons. Now that again, I'll get Ethan to put on the screen, but it's the parish website. So you click on the parish website then you click on resources, um, and then there's about 200 of my sermons, so that should keep you 
um, entertained in the meantime. So go now, just don't go too far. Go now to love and serve the Lord. Go in peace. Amen. We go in the name of Christ. Christ is risen from the dead. Love has triumphed. Christ is sovereign over all. And so may God bless you this Easter in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Alleluia, love is alive, conquered the grave and defeated the night. Alleluia, love is alive.